Right, thanks, Aaron. Last up is Landon Stevens. So they went with the go-ahead, and we all know what happened to Challenger incident. So what I'm going to draw from that is, in my mind, I would stop the design and not present the next day because not in engineering world, most of the times, 99% is good, but when it comes to people's lives, you need to be 100% right that it's going to work. It's not going to kill or hurt whoever is using the vehicle because what you're doing is basically what the people are buying your product is saying is they're putting the trust in your design, in all your mathematics, your drawings, and everything you've learned, and they're putting your trust in you and buying this product. And if you break that trust, you're not only jeopardizing your job, the jobs of your team, but also your company's life, your company's name, and their reputation. And you're also risking your license and your livelihood, but also it's ethically wrong. So in my opinion, I would stop it reevaluate what's wrong, test it even more to make sure that we get that 90% to 100% so we can get a good product to the customer. What if your business was about to go under and this was your last shot? That's a really hard question to answer because they would probably cancel the contract if you did it, but in the world like this, I feel like if you told your customer that, hey, this product, one of my engineers has a serious concern and we're, not, we're, nine, we're only 99% sure it'll work. If you could give me a little bit longer, I can, bring, I can make sure that it's 100% safe and ready to go. So I think I would stop, even if it was the company's last shot. Because I'd rather, honestly, I'd rather lose my job or the company go under than kill somebody or hurt somebody. If you were a boss, you had someone in, in, in these shoes, and they just decide to admit the faults and say, oh, well, I'm trying to time. What would you do? What would you say? No, 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 no. You're fired? Or? I would keep them around because honestly, that's what I would be. That's what I would look for on my team somebody who's ethically responsible, somebody who's going to work. work give me 100% and tell me when the product is not up to standards. That's the kind of big problem in my business, personally. And what if like, it's already in production and somebody can come to you with something that might not be, that might not make it fail mm -hmm. all the time, but possibly? If there's that possibility, I would retract it. I would retract it, the ones that had already come back, retest it, see what's the problem, and then implement our solution because if it's out there and it's about and if if it's gonna a problem's gonna happen kind of like what happened with Toyota and what's happening with auto dealership you can see they're trying to get their product out faster and faster and it's causing these problems well that's the thing I would just pull it out and re recall and get it fixed because that's still your name and it looks better on you if you recall it before something 